Hey everyone, Sam here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys on how you can live stream or record your PC gameplay. This can also be used if you're wanting to do screencasting like what I'm doing right now, or if you have a capture card like the Elgato Game Capture HD and you're wanting to capture your consoles. Okay, so what we're going to be using is a free open source software called Open Broadcast Software, or OBS for short. And this will allow us to do exactly that. So what you want to do is head over to obsproject.com, click on the download button right here, and that's going to take you to the latest installer. So once you've installed it, we can actually start and open up the program. So this is what it looks like right here. I've got the 32-bit version open. Now there are some things to consider about the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version. First of all, 64-bit is useful if you have over 4 gigs of RAM or more. But really, you don't really need to use that much RAM. It, it doesn't really use up that much RAM, I should say, uh, with OBS. So I recommend using the 32-bit version. And uh, as well as that, you will need to use the 32-bit version if you're going to be doing uh, console streaming because, unfortunately, a lot of the capture cards don't support the 64-bit version of OBS. So right here, uh, this is pretty much the the exact layout that you'll that you will actually have. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a new profile, and uh, you'll see I've actually got one here already called PC Recording. I'm going to remove this one, and I'm going to make a new one called uh, Let's actually let's do uh, Twitch Twitch TV because I already actually already have one, but we're going to be doing one uh, just for Twitch TV, and then we'll also create a profile for PC Recording. So this one is going to be for streaming to Twitch. Now, there are some little things that you need to know before streaming to Twitch. First of all, I recommend doing a speed test. You can do this by going to speedtest.net. Find out your, your actual highest upload speed. And then what you want to do is head over to obsproject.com. And then on under help, you'll see estimator. This is a handy little tool that they have. And so what it's going to ask you here is what kind of you know, CPU do you have? Do you have an AMD or do you have an Intel? What sort of uh, gen uh, sort of CPU do you have? So I have the first gen uh, Core i7. So I'm going to select that one. What sort of graphics card do you have? I have the a higher graphics card than that one. And what sort of game are you going to be streaming? So I'm going to be streaming a, a high motion game, sort of GTA 5. And uh, if you're going to be streaming something like that, or if you're going to be streaming uh, a lower sort of game, you can choose these different settings here. Now you need to choose your highest uh, speed, your highest um, actual upload rate. So I'm going to choose 650 kilobits per second. Now, obviously, if you have a higher internet connection speed, I would put that in there. And uh, unfortunately, for Australians, we don't have that that much of a, a great internet connection. So yeah, anyways, what is your approximate screen size uh, or in-game resolution? Um, I usually choose this as my actual window. Uh, so if you have a 1920 by 1080 uh, screen or higher, you can just leave it. If you've got a higher resolution screen, just leave it on 1920 by 1080 and then click on recommended settings. That's going to show you some advice of what to actually do. And uh, yeah, so we can actually implement these changes in here. Now, the other thing you'll need to do is head over to twitch.tv. Uh, once you're there, you need to click on your profile, click on dashboard, and then once you're there, click on the stream key. Now, this is a very, very important that you don't show this stream key to anyone. Uh, so once you click on show key, I'm not going to do that now. But once you click on that, it's going, to, uh, it's going to actually give you a key which you need to copy and paste uh, into OBS. So once we've done that, we're going to open up OBS here. And we're going to start with the encoder. So encoder, you can see here, is X264. I recommend doing that. But if you do have an, a compatible uh, CPU, which is an Intel uh, QuickSync Sync CPU, I recommend clicking that because that has uh, been proven to be a lot faster than the X264 encoder. The other option here is the NVIDIA ENV, ENC coder. Uh, I haven't really experienced much, uh, haven't really like sort of exper experimented with that much. So you may want to try it, see how it works well for you or not. Uh, the next one is CBR, um, so constant bitrate. You want to leave that checked. You also want to leave constant bitrate padding checked. Now you can see right here, these are the settings that OBS recommended 
to me so i've chosen these ones you may need to use a custom buffer size if it recommends you that you do that uh for the audio i'm going to choose aac and the bit rate 128 you really don't need to go anywhere over that uh, because it sounds great the way it is with those settings next one is the broadcast settings so right here i've chosen live stream there's two options here live stream and file output only we'll go into the file output only in a, in a little bit later in this video uh, but the second option is the streaming service which streaming service is going to be streaming to twitch justin.tv youtube etc uh, so the one we're going to be doing is twitch and you want to choose the server that is located closest to you so because i'm from australia i'm going to be using the singapore server and that's where you will also need to paste the stream key in there so that stream key that we just went to which is right here you will need to then paste it into this box right here okay so then once you've done that you can click on apply and every time you click on apply it's going to save it into that profile so make sure you do that uh, okay so the next one is video so your the monitor screen size will actually come up here so whatever your monitor size it will actually come up here i've got a 1920 by 1080p uh, display and an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 which is optimal for streaming and recording right here you can see there's the resolution downscale usually it'll be at 1920 by 1080 by default but because people don't have the some people don't have the greatest internet connection speeds like me um, unfortunately i can't actually stream at a at a, a resolution like this because uh, it's quite a big resolution uh, so i would start anywhere from 640 by 360 if you have a really slow connection or 480 uh, 852 by 480 choose that one if you want to as well and sort of gradually find a good balance uh, so if you have a really good beast computer and a really beast internet connection and really it's not about your download speed it's about your upload speed if you have a really good upload speed of anywhere from 2.5 megabits per second or all the way up to 10 megabits per second you might be able to stream at 1280 by 720 uh, or you'd probably be able to stream at 1280 by 720 easily with a 2.5 megabit up um, but if you have like a 5 megabit upload you can go all the way up to 1920 by 1080 if you want next one is uh, FPS so you can go anywhere from 24 FPS to 60 FPS depending on what sort of game you're going to be playing if you're going to be streaming a game like GTA 5 or you know an FPS game you can leave it on 30 but if you want to give your viewers a more optimal experience a more uh, like a vivid experience you can actually go bump it up all the way to 60 but that then again that also has to factor into your streaming as well next little option here is disable arrow this is going to disable all the arrow effects i recommend leaving that ticked if it isn't ticked click on that and uh, click apply that's going to remove all the visual effects but it is going to improve pc gameplay performance uh, so the next one is audio so you want to select whatever audio device you're going to be using um, i'm going to leave it on like that and so there's a little option here force microphone slash auxiliary to mono now this is useful if you have an xlr mic like i do i'm using my uh my audio box 44 vsl uh, which is a personas model and uh, whatever sort of microphone you have here you might have an astro or whatever like that you would choose that on uh, your microphone uh the next little options here like mic mute and mic unmute you can choose that if you want to have a, a different key uh etc next one here is we're going to get into uh, some settings for streaming to twitch because uh, twitch does require some different settings the first thing is you will need to change your encoder profile to main and you will also need to change this from zero to two uh, that's just the way it works on twitch so once you've done that we can actually start with uh you know recording some pc gameplay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up um you know minecraft just for just for aesthetics and uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the sources at right click on sources right here in this box click add you've got a lot of different options here so window capture monitor capture image so you could have like an image overlay image slideshow text text is useful if you want to do uh, if you want to display like what sort of song you're playing at the moment or like what song you're playing or how many donations you've had which is a pretty popular one 
Uh, you can do a lot of things with this with this one as well. Uh, video capture device is useful if you want to capture your console gameplay and game capture uh, is the one that we're going to be using. So we want to select that, you can give it a name and then we're going to uh, choose the uh, to, to open up Minecraft. So let's do that right now. And uh, so pretty much what you want to do is, so if you've opened the game, you will need to click on refresh here. It's going to automatically detect that Minecraft is the one that we want to play. I recommend unchecking capture mouse cursor because that's going to stop uh, your mouse from appearing on over the game and ticking stretch image to screen and ignore aspect ratio that's going to allow your video to actually display like that so right now you can see minecraft is right there if we click on preview stream this is going to show minecraft right there you can actually see it's only capturing the minecraft display so if we, even if we maximize this all the way you can see that uh, right here it's only going to capture the Minecraft window. So really useful. So now that you've got that, you can add other things like you know an image over the top of it. So for example, let's go and get uh, find ourselves an image right here. We can do I don't know. Let's do this one, and we can have an image over the over it. And you can actually um, tick which ones you don't want on. So we, if we don't want the game capture there, we can tick it. Or if we don't want the image anymore, we can tick that one and you can show that. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, like stream overlays and all of those different things. So now that you want to, now that you've actually, now that you're set up, you can start streaming to Twitch and you can then go over to your, your actual stream page and uh, yeah, start streaming. So the next thing here, is what we're going to do is get into um, console streaming. And well, actually, console recording or PC recording. Now you could do this for PC recording. It's very simple. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to set, set up another profile. So we're going to call this PC recording, and we're going to click on Add right there. So now we're going to get into the encoding for uh, for encoding videos to your computer, um, streaming. Not really streaming, but encoding and recording videos to your computer. So what I usually do is I leave it on a bit rate of about twelve thousand. I uncheck use custom buffer size, click apply, and uh, so then you've got a bitrate of 12,000. That's going to give you a really nice quality, uh, you know, video, and it's going to seem very smooth as well. You can leave the bitrate on 128, but if you really want to, you could bump it all the way up to 320 um, if you wish. Broadcast settings, we're going to choose file output only. Now, I recommend choosing a external hard drive where you're going to be saving this. So what I usually do is I save it on my 4 terabyte hard drive. And so what I'll do is I'll just call this game um, recording 1. And so that's going to save that uh, th the file that you're actually going to be streaming or recording, I should say, uh, into, that, into that file right there. So now you can click apply. And uh, you can change some other settings here if you want to res down the res change the resolution downscale. I usually leave it at the native 1920 by 1080. So now that we've got that, we can actually start uh, with streaming a game. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to change this. Like right now, you could actually just leave it on Minecraft, and it would you'd be able to start playing and 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 doing that. But for this example, I'm going to show you guys how you can just record your consoles. Now, if you do have an Elgato Game Capture HD like I do, I'm going to just show you that. So you will need to have the drivers installed and stuff like that. You can see the Elgato Game Capture HD is selected right there. We're going to be using the Use Device Audio. That's pretty important. Uh, and then the option here, Output Audio to Stream Only. So instead of you hearing what it actually sounds like on your desktop, because there's going to be a lot of delay if you do that, if you have it output audio to desktop. But if it's output audio to stream only, only your viewers will actually hear that. So select that and then click OK. So now to actually start recording, we can just click on Start Recording. And what that's going to do is, as you can see here, it's going to start loading up the. Uh, it's going to start loading up the device for the Elgato, and I'm just going to press the stick on my Xbox so you can see that it is working. Now you'll see that the there is a bit of black, a bit of a black bar all the way around the side here. Now we need to stretch that. So anytime you want to edit like a, a scene, like a, a a source, you want to click on the source that you want to add. Uh, sorry, edit, 
and then click on edit scene now you've got these red lines here you can change pretty much the width etc so you just want to drag down like that and now you have your your whole display as uh, your your capture device so your console it could be your xbox one ps4 etc so that is pretty much how to record once you've done that you can stop recording and then you can go to wherever that is so that is in my gameplay recording folder and it's going to be right here so if i actually go to that file now and load this up uh what you'll see is it's going to record this is as <laughs> it's going to record this perfectly and let me just mute that and uh you can actually go into this and you can see that it has recorded your gameplay and uh works really well so that has been a tutorial for setting up obs for live streaming and recording i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did leave some love and leave a like and uh, subscribe for more great tech content tutorials reviews and i will see you guys in the next video peace